Hey, what's up everyone? I should say Happy Eastern too, because uh, this video will be a short one and I will be taping it in advance because we will be going to Lulio this next week, me and my family. And uh, I don't think it will be much time to do any videos there, so I thought I will do this in advance. And um, I will be try, try to get in some training at North Pole and Lulio too, so I won't be slacking training-wise at least. But uh, the video here will be a technique video, which I will be talking about the way to finish the omoplata on people with bendy shoulders like me. My shoulders are, especially my right shoulder, are really, really bendy. I can put it behind my back and nearly touch my own uh, neck with my hand which means it's really, really hard to finish the omoplata. You can go for it and uh, sweep me with it, but uh, finish it is really, really hard. <coughs> uh, so what I figured out, uh, or I found a technique which even works on me, and uh, I showed Mua this, my main training partner, and um, this is actually how I train. I uh, find something which is counter to stuff I do or techniques I like. I give this to her. She incorporates it in her game. And this means I have to uh, change my game too. Because if there is a counter to my, my things, I need to find something else or some, 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 something else to counter it. And this is uh, my way of... Um, troubleshooting my own jiu-jitsu actually and uh, Mua is a really really good training partner here and uh, why I do this with her is because she's uh, so good at um, catching on to things and uh, using them in sparring and uh, this uh, means tremendous for my game so here I will show a way of finishing Domo Plata on bendy people like me. Here we go. Yeah, here's the Umo Plata. As you can see here, my this is a normal Umo Plata. My arm is really, really bendy, which means eight out of 10 times I can just limp it and pull it out. Especially in Nogi, uh, my defense will just be to uh, relax, try to uh, wiggle my arm a little and I will get it out. Uh, look here now how Mua changes her leg position, the one which is clamped on my shoulder. She will put her shin bone on my bicep and the knee on the inside, like this there it forces my shoulder down on the mat and put my well it puts a tremendous pressure on the shoulder and as everyone knows the plata is meant to break the shoulder so here my defense my former defense is really compromised uh, of course you can roll but then you just apply the same thing as you do with normal plata you will just hug the back and keep the person on the ground like this. Uh, and here is another way you can do, because you will end up a little more tilted. Well, tilted you will end up a little more uh, turned against the person when you uh, put legs on, on the inside like this. So look here. She goes up for the same thing. Shin on my bicep and uh, also the knee on the inside. And because of her now is uh, more uh, turned against me, she can put all her weight on my back and on my hip. Here. This means I can't roll at all. And here she can just stretch out the leg and it forces me to tap there yeah 
and be careful when you entangle yourself from the position um, because uh, it can be really dangerous for your shoulder and you don't want to hurt your training partner. Yeah, as a last little thing, I will show how this technique can be applied in a more live situation. Uh, this uh, video I will be showing is a sparring video between me and Mua. Uh, we did it a while back ago and uh, my back was kind of bad that day. So it is a more softer and gentle kind of role. But uh, in the end, Mua managed to apply this uh, omoplata on my shoulder which uh, forced me to tap. And even though this might not be uh, even close to 100%, maybe 40 or 50% for, of, of our speed, I think that uh, it shows how this can be applied in a more live situation. This is also how we train many times to spare our bodies, but also to get the chance to try out and uh, troubleshoot the drills we have been doing before. So, yeah, here we go. So here we go. Uh, this will be a slow roll, which we do a lot, just to feel positions and try to experiment a little. Also trying stuff we have been practicing. Uh, I think my back was kind of shot here too, so uh, my movement isn't on point. She goes for Berambolo. I roll through and get my uh, guard full guard. Uh, it's hard to latch on to someone without the gi act yet, and which means it's hard to keep the po posture. She put her arms in my armpit and will go for one of her favorite ways of splitting guard. One leg in between my legs, in my crouch actually, uh, sit down and split the guard. She goes here for a knee cut. I defend it and try to get the legs on the inside so I can elevate her with, with two butterfly hooks. But she defends it and here's the wall comes in the way too. So she goes to the other side, keep the pressure, move forward. And here I go for the K guard. But uh, she has been practicing this with me so she knows what's, what, what will happen and push my one of my legs to the other side. I can keep this for a little while. But uh, eventually uh, she will end up in the neon belly and I have to give up uh, side control. And because of my back I have a really hard time moving here. I can't really uh, bridge or hip bump good enough. And she's, uh, she's really really tight. Also her mount is really really tight here. She has uh, the legs uh, really tight against my side. Here she goes for... Um, no gi is equal choke. I defend with my arm. Uh, so, and I am really, really hard to choke actually. So uh, she had to give this up. My plan here was to uh, is to try to do a, a elbow escape, but because of her good mount, it is really, really hard. Uh, I will push one of her legs with uh, one of my legs and try to sneak the other leg under while I do a, a little bridge here but yeah instead she rides the mount and latch onto the arm here I am afraid of arm bar so I roll against it but she traps my other arm with the leg and went up in uh, upside down uh, uh, key lock trap, which is a position I will talk about later on. It's, it is really, really good. Um, this prevents me from standing up or... And I'm kind of trapped here actually. So I need to get rid of the leg, so I try to roll through, roll to the other side. I'm not fast enough and I end up in this uh, own plot situation. And here we will end up in this uh, technique which I was talking about to do when people have bent arms. She changed her leg position there, so it pushes really against my uh, my bicep. 
and here I will need to tap actually because uh, even if my arms are bendy this will break my arm too so yeah yeah and there you have it uh, I hope this technique can be useful to you uh, if you have someone with bendy shoulders at, at your gym try to use it and uh, leave a comment down below how it goes otherwise uh, leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you like my content and uh, yeah i will see you in my next video which will hopefully be around next week wednesday maybe but until then everyone should have a great week and a great weekend and i'll see you soon bye